Okay, time for another video. Let's go. Uh, how about some more green gems? <coughs> I'm ready to find some more gems in this wall. Find a country that was once ruled by Ferdinand V and Isabella I. Are you kidding me? Since when do I know about world royalties? <laughs> Seriously. It does sound like, uh. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Ferdinand, Isabella. Does that name sound Spanish to me? I don't know. I could be wrong. No. Um, um, Ferdinand. I don't know. Maybe. No, Russia was mostly ruled by Tsars before the 20th century. So that's the no then. I'm not so sure if those names sound Russian to me. But I know they're European, so that's a start. Nope. The Search for the country where Julius Caesar ruled the Roman Empire. Oh, that one's easy. My bad. Spade! Of course, it parts forms one fourth. <clears throat> three fourths of the <clears throat> Iberian Peninsula. Great! Find a country that contains Ho Chi Minh City. More coal to keep us going. That's Vietnam. That's either Greece. Well, Greece isn't an option anyway, so this has got to be the answer. Looks good. Locate the country that contains most of the island of Borneo. The island of Borneo. Borneo. Um, should I know where that is? Ugh, <sighs> uh, excuse me. The island of Borneo. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Have to be. Maybe it's one of the. Um... No, it's not Japan. Indonesia. Oh! Looks good! Wow! Find the country where the cowboys are called gauchos. Hey, I remember that from Carmen San Diego Treasures of Knowledge. Hmm, not sure if I could play that game on here. But I'll give it a shot one of these days. Great, find! Find the country whose capital is Lima. Lima, Peru. That's the United States. 
My operation was that called again. Oh. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's one of the Middle Eastern state <clears throat> countries. Oh gosh, it's either Iran or Egypt. Oh shoot, that's not right. Let's catch up. On oh, the I was so close. Times. I was so close. Remember this map wall? Let's dig for some gems. Search for the country whose capital is Beijing. Uh, I was so close. I had a feeling Good it was work. Iran. Another gem for us. Find the country that includes large plateaus of rainforest. Plateau, huh? Hmm. Is that Brazil? It's gotta be. Nope. No gems there. Oh, I think it's the Congo. That's gotta be it. Yeah. You find some pretty nice gems in this cave. Search for the country that includes the Congo River. Congo. Must be human in Congo. Oh yeah. Let's go back to the door and see if this gem fits. That makes four. I was half expecting for that geologist to come swinging back in here. She's probably off exploring the mine like we should be. Let's get going. Are you sure we're supposed to be here? This almost feels like we're doing something illegal. <laughs> oh well. Let's go. This is the cave where we have to match stone tiles to uncover the gems. Oh, lift. I remember physics class. Rocks made of minerals. Crust is made up of points. Oh shoot, that's not right. This is a hydroelectric dam. Oh, this is talking about planet Earth. <clears throat> oh goodness. Um... Let's examine this more closely. Falcon. This deserves a closer look. Oh, rocks. Okay. Those nope. two don't really go together. Ignis Oh, this one's talking about rocks. I remember those in middle school. Heavy lizard. Oh, the Barosaurus. Hey, speaking of dinosaurs, I'm really enjoying Dino Charge on Netflix. It's really good to catch up when I'm working. Yeah. Thrust moves it forward. Um, let's unselect this. Airplanes. My brother likes airplanes. Awesome. They were endangered species, 200 miles per hour. Hydroelectric. Alright! Let's take our big gem back to the door. That's five! Hmm. Okay, let's turn on these lights. 
neato. Okay, 13 and 38 hundredths plus 19 and 46 hundredths equals 33.24. Oh, it's on that second level over there. Okay. Yeah. You sure know your map. Helps to have a calculator. It may or may not be cheating, but hey, they let you do that on some math tests in school anyway, so. <laughs> Twenty-five thirty-eight. Twenty-five point thirty-eight. Here it is. Here. It's getting brighter. Okay, two sevenths. Where are you? Oh, it's on the very top over there. I didn't think that would work either. <laughs> Twenty-five point thirty-eight. Yeah. Good job. Oh, a prime number. I remember these. It's a number that's divisible by one in itself, right? Yeah. Twenty five point forty nine plus eight point six six. Okay. Thirty four point fifteen. Oh, right under that. Now I need sunglasses. Let's go. Let's try for another gem. Okay. Weaken. You will never weaken if you hold on to hope. Weekend. Hope is greater hey, than despair. Go. Here's the next word. Without. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Without. I always get nervous breaking eggs. I don't know. Why. Wait, spelling. Cool. Listen for the next word. Response. Sometimes the best response to a question is another question. Response. That's a great way for an argument. Cool. Great. I'm ready for the next word. A good argument. Numeral. The Roman numeral for 10 looks like the letter X. Numeral. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness. I lost points, but oh well. <laughs> Good. This is easy. What's next? Cottage. At the end of the road, you will come to a cottage. Cottage. Oh. Cottage. It's in cottage cheese. My grandfather loved that stuff. Oh, no! Mm. Stupid ball. Correct! Excellent! Here comes the next word to spell. Yesterday. Yesterday, I had fun with my friends in the park. Yesterday. Good! Cool! Listen for the next word. Discover. To discover if there was electricity in thunderclouds, Benjamin Franklin flew a kite in the rain. Discover. It's a true story. Electricity. Oh no! That evil ball struck again. Great! Cool! Listen for the next word. Variety. I enjoy the variety of activities I can do at summer camp. Variety. Oops. 
I meant to do that, honestly. Dangerous work of mining. Interesting. How long have you been here, anyway? Hmm. I suppose as long as I've been on this earth, I've been around this mine. So you've always lived in Sapphire Falls? Well, I live here, my pappy lived here, and my grandpappy too. I know this town better than anybody, I reckon. Hmm. How long have you been here, anyway? Hmm. I suppose as long as I've been on this earth, I've been around this mine. That's a long time. When was the last time you shaved? Oh, I, I suppose I lost my razor sometime back around the gold rush. <laughs> Wasn't the gold rush in the 1850s? Oh boy. Wow, a real miner. You must have some great stories to tell. Oh yeah, it's true. I've seen some pretty amazing things underground. What about that mysterious creature? Oh, I never saw that varmint myself, but I've heard stories. Wow, a real miner. You must have some great stories to tell. Oh, yeah, it's true. I've seen some pretty amazing things underground. Mining. Wait. What's the strangest thing you've ever seen down here anyway? Well, ah, just the other day I saw one of them scientists swinging through the place on a rope. <laughs> Darnest thing I ever seen. Huh. Well, we've got to get back to work. We're doing a little mining ourselves. You gotta learn to slow down. My granddaddy gave me a pocket watch and a banjo and said, son, you've always got time for a song. So what do you say? How about you sit a bit and I'll pick you two? Sorry, we're in kind of a hurry. But before we go, can I get a picture of you? Well, sure you can. And tell everybody you show it to that you met me. Jedediah Mason. A real miner. <laughs> Here's Jedediah Mason. I wonder what he'd do if he found the treasure. I bet he'd buy this mine. <laughs> That's a good enough motto. I mean, motive. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting character, that man. Well, <sighs> we're gonna look for more gems in the next.